Hi, I'm Dr. Stu Weiss, and I'm an emergency doc here in New York City. I'm uh, filming these videos to try and give people science-based practical tips about COVID-19 or coronavirus. So um, I've assembled a list of questions, and I am shooting this in my home studio with all this video equipment that I barely know how to use. Um, so I apologize if there's shaking of the camera or the lighting's not right. Um, but we'll try and get through this. Um, so I want to let me go take a look at our questions for today. I've assembled a list of questions that people have sent me or people have asked me along the way. So today's question actually comes from Carl in Philadelphia. Hey, Carl. The question is, why is coronavirus so different from SARS, Ebola and the others? Dr. Stu, every few years we hear about a different scary virus, like bird flu or influenza. Why has this gone crazy and why didn't they go crazy? Some people say it's not a natural thing, that it came from China. Um, is there something going on with that? Can you tell us about the coronavirus? That's a great question. So. The coronavirus came from bats in Wuhan, China. We think that in that market, they sell bats um, as, as food. Um, we think that some bat blood got into some a human there um, and the virus mutated and then became adaptable to um, humans. And it may have actually gone through an intermediary host called a pangolin, which is an anteater kind of animal that they have in China and parts of Africa. Um, so um, we're not quite sure, but it definitely came from bats originally. It's got about 96% of the same genetic material than that bat viruses have. And bats are known to carry lots and lots of coronaviruses. So this, this virus jumped from bats to humans, um, and now it's here. Now, there are other viruses that have done that. For example, Ebola has jumped from other animals to humans, as has um, SARS a couple of years ago and MERS a couple of years ago. So those viruses also, those two happen to be coronaviruses as well, and they jumped to humans. What makes this virus, which is called SARS-CoV-2 for SARS coronavirus 2, to make it different than the one that caused SARS back in 2002, 2003, right? So SARS-CoV-2 causes the disease called COVID-19. COVID stands for coronavirus disease. CO for corona, VI for virus, D for disease, and then 19 is the year that it started. So SARS-CoV-2 virus causes COVID-19. The difference about between this virus and previous ones is this virus is particularly good at spreading. So it has spread through large portions of the world and will continue to spread. Now, hopefully some of the mitigation strategies, some of the things that we're doing to, that are called public health interventions, like staying home, um, like staying six feet away and social distancing, um, like washing your hands a lot, Hopefully those things will help, to, will help to stop the chain of infectivity and stop the virus from spreading so much. So this virus is dangerous because as opposed to flu, this virus has a mortality rate that's 10 times what normal seasonal flu is. So that makes it much more dangerous than an equally um, easily spread virus, which is influenza. Um, so every year influenza spreads around the globe and people get sick, but the mortality, people still die, but this particular virus, the one that's spreading right now, is 10 times more dangerous. And it's especially dangerous for people that are high risk. So for those of people that are old, starting at age 60, um, which is where I am actually, but getting much more severe when you get to be um, in your 70s and 80s, or if you have an underlying medical condition, like diabetes, heart disease, lung problems, um, those can put you in a high risk category as well. So that was a great question. If you have a question, please go to our website, www 
www.drstu.org, www.doctorstu.org, and you will take. You can send your questions in through the website. Please subscribe to our channel. We'll put out videos every single day, um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.